Hello YouTube friends. Thanks so much for joining me. I want to go over some stuff with you guys. Who does not have 10,000 brushes? It's one of those things that anybody that does any type of art has. And um, I must say that I'm guilty about buying brushes and scissors. You got all sort of scissors. And I started with this little box to carry all my stuff. Obviously, as you can see, it doesn't fit. Imagine fitting all this in here. No way. Plus my glue. I like to have everything easy to access when I'm doing some art. So, with that in mind, let me put this away. I bought this. Uh, I can't remember what I got it from, but... I bought that and here's my idea and I want to share with you guys I have toilet uh, roller rolls I'm gonna make them little square and then I'm gonna put them inside of here this way I can organize everything and be able to um, not have everything falling when you take some some stuff out so what I got I am making little square with the toilet roll rolls like this and then I'm gonna hot glue it because what I want to do I want to be able to have different compartment for scissors I can never say that word but I want to have areas for this um all separate I want to separate my big brushes from my little brushes my decoupage brushes from uh, my oil paint brushes so I've been saving this and I use some of this and the other one as uh, already that's why everything stays up otherwise everything would be falling in uh, this one is full of stuff I don't like this now I could make it perfect and um, let me move this out of here because I already start using that in here as you see let me see if I can show you guys let me start moving some of this stuff so there you go see I got all sort of stuff and um, I want to organize this because I start this when I had much less stuff but see I already started doing it let me show you guys here so it makes it easier because you can separate but now I want to make it at a large scale because I like to have my E6000 and all this junk and all this stuff and hot glue and you name it. It's going to take me all day to put this together. But I'm going to separate everything in order because when I pick up my little workstation, I'm going to call it. See, I have all sorts of different stuff, even things to open can. You never know when you need them, but this is what I want for right now. But see, if you don't have this thing, look, everything would fall. See, when you pick up anything, if you don't have these separations, everything would fall. Let's see, I got a screwdriver, and I want to use this because I don't have enough. There you go. See, markers, and you can do a different compartment for each one of your stuff. All right, so I got everything I needed. I don't know if I have enough anyways, but so here's the idea. The idea is make it all squared and glue them together. And then probably, I think I'm going to hot glue them in there too. So that would stay, but we'll see. But this one will fit all my stuff separated. So, then you gotta get hot glue and then put them together. I could go, and if you want, you can do that too. As, as good as um, painting this, making very pretty, but I'm not gonna do that. Because I figure if it does get, um, see, perfect, it fits right in the corner there. So now, I'm gonna do different sections. There you go. See? And 
Some of them are smaller than the other one. Huh, interesting. And I want to make clusters because I want to be able to put them all in there. I see some of them are bigger. Go figure. But this, you see the concept? So you can fit a bunch of these. Look, you can separate all your stuff. I'm probably going to need more of it than this. I can probably go to my daughter's bathroom. I bet you'll find some in there. But I want to put them all like a big row in here, a big row in here, then separate it to a larger space for something else. So once I'm done, I'm going to show you guys. Probably going to take a while. But this is the idea. I know, I don't know about you guys, but with me, I keep everything I see about art I want to buy. And I use my points on my credit card. So it's not like I'm spending too much money that is not supposed to be on my budget for art. But I do spend the money that I get my points. See? I'm making a little cluster. And, um, and every time I get my points on my credit card. And this, for the, this is actually good when you are doing hot glue. You don't burn your finger. But when you do uh, get your points from your credit card, you can save those for your art supplies. And that's why I always have stuff because every time I put gas on my car and I use my credit card, I get points. And every point I have, I always buy art stuff. So it's not like it's coming out technically out of my budget. And at the same time, if you sell anything, then you put in money right back into it again for supplies. Because trust me, we get addicted to this. Okay, so see how the big cluster works. And this is, um, look. So I can have, actually I can even fit more than this. Um, I don't know how many more I have. I'm going to have to probably get some more. So um, I'll try to see if I can finish this up. And maybe put the video on pause and go back to it. Because I would like to show it to you after it's done. But I don't think I have enough. And I use this to press it. It's hard. Sorry, um, but this is exciting because I'm going to have all my brushes separate by size and I just bought some great brushes. I couldn't help it. I had to have those. It's for, where are they? On this mess. But it's for oil paint. And I hope none of you have gone through what I've been through. I use my favorite brush to use on an oil paint. And uh, when I went to wash it, I put on water. And oil paint, guys, you cannot put on water. So I pretty much ruined my favorite brush. And it was, it was a synthetic brush. I didn't know anything about that. but And it turned out that... Um, there are different type of paint. We have to use different kind of uh, cleaning stuff. And uh, so I mastered my favorite brush. So now I bought another one. But now I bought one that would work for either. Either or. Acrylic or oil based paint. Now I want you guys to uh, sign up. Because I, I'm going to show you guys how to do this. See? Look how pretty it is. Dollar Tree material. Most of it I should say. But I wanna show I'm gonna show you guys do a video on that probably in the next couple of days, maybe today, who knows? So make sure you sign up so that you can um, get the notification of that new video. And please, 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 please. Subscribe, but share. Share with your friends. Invite them over for my channel. Help me grow. And really, really appreciate you guys sharing the video. And um, so let's see. How am I going to do this? Okay. I 
love this little thing to open candy can cans not candy cans because see it's pretty cool and i can use it for the hot glue so i don't burn my finger and of course i have other stuff that i can use too so uh let's see okay so here's the final product i use some of these oops some of these to put some of my stuff and um and of course the little thing like i said it doesn't look very nice but it's putting it's pretty neat inside and i can carry it and i have my scissors in here all of the different kind of scissors i have all my different tools if i want to do any sculpturing or anything like here then I got my E6000, my glues, my cutting uh, utensils right here. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm missing one. My husband probably took it. And I have all my brushes on this side. Let me show you guys. See all different sizes of brushes. I have all my acrylic sticks for my um, um, resin art. And I have pencils and pen and things for drawing i have screwdrivers here which i think i'm gonna put it this way yeah that'll be better screwdriver and then i have cutting utensils if i'm doing any molds and stuff like that ruler knife spoon um the dollar store lighter and and everything organized so whenever i need to do any art I just grab it and go. Thanks for joining me, guys. Please subscribe. And again, subscribe so that you guys going to see how I'm going to do this. It's coming up. Thank you, guys. Please share. Have a wonderful day. God bless you all.